Hey guys, it's I, Power, and here doing my first Monica review of the HGCE uh, Ale Strike Gundam that released back around 2014 2015. Don't remember, it's been a long time since since when I bought this model kit. Well, I bought like three, four, five of them technically. Well, two of them, well, three of them. One, one was the well, two of them are Ale Strikes. Well, technically, three. Well, two were the Yale Strikes. The other one was the Strike Rouge. I converted one to the Perfect Strike because I took the old R17 Perfect Strike and them threw away the base kit, threw away the base strike from that, attached all the uh, striker packs onto it, which fits perfectly well. So if you're out there, you see the R17 Strike and you see the revived Yale Strike, and you're wondering, can I attach these guys together? And the answer is yes, because they have the same joints, the same back hole. I can attach up to here that will show you right here. This back hole right here will still attach to this right here on the on the perfect strike and all that. Actually, you know what? We'll do a little quick. This is a little side tangent since mainly this is a review kit for the you know strength, but I can show you the perfect strike since I have it over here on the shelving over here. So I'm just gonna move a little bit out of the way on the HG strike. And so I know this is a review, or should be a review of the Ale Strike. Here is the Ale Strike Revive, or the Perfect Strike Revive. And it is a bulky, bulky boy. But it fits well. This, all of this right here is the old uh, R17 Perfect Strike. The only thing different about it is basically switching the old Strike for the new Revive Strike, which both of you guys are basically the same. The basic same model kit right here. And what's it called? And the attention points actually fit very really well. So there's no modification of all that where you have to like figure out. It's like, are these joints going to fit on the old strike shoulders? They do. They're actually the same fit, the same size. And I'm kind of glad with Bandai finally releasing for the entry grade strike, which I am going to try to buy. Mainly the first one because I want the, the sword slam, but let's move the perfect strike out of the way as this is not a review for him. As he's more of a technical custom. But he's here. Always well, wants to say hi. So that's your favorite monica of mine. A little bit back loosey because of the legs of the strike. But that's over time joints things. Um, I'll probably do some, what's it called? Tightening of the joints later on. Mainly towards his legs. Because sometimes he likes to fall over. That's also because it's, I've had these guys for years. Sometimes these guys need a little bit lubricant or a little bit more tightening up. But... Back to the regular strike. A very good model kit. Uh, give me one second. I have to move away the perfect strike somewhere else. So I don't feel like putting it back on the shelf for the meantime. But when it comes to the uh, perfect L strike, not perfect L strike, <laughs> uh, regular uh, strike Gundam, one of my favorite model kits. It's very poseable compared to the old, old strike. Its possibility is able to go, it's able to bend its joints all the way. As it does have now double joints as the pulley cap arms now too because the original ones or the stick joints i forget or peg peg joints for the arms uh, a little bit more notable if you own any of the double o third third gen gundams like the exia dynamis non-lay yada yada or any of the old gyms and old huc kits Ugh, put that back on and we have the head very good on the swivel swivel. Or most people like to do the, the giggity giggity giggity. They able to move around, spin the head. I've not done this to the guy in a while. So that's up, oh, ab crunch. A pretty good one. And we have, I think what most people like to do, it's a lot of their high grades. Is the split, oh. Side skirt spell. They able to do the split pretty nice. Oof. Not the best, but there's also another thing too. This guy's a little bit more stiff as I rarely have ever uh take him out to be, you know, played and whatnot. Not like not like with the other kids. They would have bend its leg all the way that way, move the leg all the way this way, as it does have peg and does have it's one of the things I do like the swap around is that the pegs get swapped around. Where the pegs used to be on top and the joint and the ball joints to be at the bottom, swap a roo. I feel a little bit better because now they're able to do the bend and splits. For these guys right here. 
Uh, ooh. Some of these guys like to pop off when you go use them like for the first time around. Oof. Sorry about that. Sorry, it's been a while since I actually popped this guy back up. And let's go for the weaponry that, it, uh, that the old strike has. First off, the good old beam saber. The, I forget what this is called. The 105 beam. Uh, I have to go look it up. Give me one second about the strike. It's been a while since I've done anything on the strike. Uh, da, da, da. That equipment. All oh, right. I forgot. Now I remember the name for this. This is the 57 millimeter high energy beam rifle. Uh, one of the a very good beam rifle for the, in the show for for fire, firepower for the strike. Then we have its shield, which is a three layer shield compared to the old high grit strike shield. That I really need to go find the shields because I do have them. What's called? This is a three layer shield, so it popped off. The the what's called? The red pops off first, then the yellow pops off. So it's a three layer one. Pretty good, and pretty sturdy. I do like it. A bit more detail compared to the older strike shield. Then we go with the beam sabers, which. Let me tell you with the beam savers, since this is a kit I had to go dig up. Uh, trying to find the beam saver for the uh, for the old ale strike was a little bit of a problem. Because I have so many beam savers. You know how many I have? And what might as well show it. Now this is just what I have right now in my container. This is a whole lot of beam savers. From a whole lot of model kits. And this is just the ones I have here. I know I have more thrown around in my boxes and whatnot. But what's it called? Uh, those are in b different boxes. Because I have so many model kits. And, and you know, it's one good thing about having a lot of model kits is the beam savers. So, nowadays, Bandai's kind of skipping on the beam savers. I know a lot of people have been having some gripes with them. I too. But because I've been building and have a whole collection for right now, it is, I really don't mind if some model kits don't come with beam savers. It's kind of annoying still. So. But I have a backlog of beam savers, so if I need to take out beam savers, as you saw, as you saw, I have a container full. A lot of them are pink and red. There's some green. There's a couple of yellow ones in there. Some pink. A lot of red. A lot of them from my UC kits. And then go from the beam savers of the, of the yellow strike to the armor schneiders. And I love these. I know a lot of people say like as web as base weapon readers are kind of weak as they're like short range and not really good when you're fighting against machines that can probably tank it. But I like the daggers. Anytime we get more tactical with my Gundams, I love it. Like with my Astragnus, my with my custom Astragnus that I showed. Oops, sorry about that. That I showed during my first introduction video. It has two GN beam pistols. On its side skirts. Oh, not side skirts. On its on its side kneecaps. And I enjoy tactical Gundams. That's also why I'm, I'm kind of like half and half when it comes to like most Gundams being tactical about this. Oh, <sighs> and then we go from the, sh and then we go with the O, and then we go with the O pack, which uh, connects like this. So has this connector port right here for most strikes, and most as most UC or not UC most cosmic era. Well, Cosmere kits has the single peg point as they just a joint right there, and boom! Now we have the L striker pack. Now, I will say this does come with stickers uh, four main small stickers, mainly for towards the head. I can see right there with the, with the head right there, then the camera on the front, uh, camera in the back. Not really that much, not really that noticeable. Actually, they're pretty good, I think. I think when model kits come with basically the only stickers on the model kits being what's a cold just for the head units. I think that's when you got a good model kit right there. At least one that doesn't rely on stickers. The, the other big sticker units that you'll probably see around are for the L-Pack. But overall, I don't put them on there since once a cold, it really don't add on to it. And you can always paint. There's one thing about this hobby that I enjoy and love that has made me love it more and more. is the fact that I customize my model kits to however I want. And, and it's got to be more and more to be able to paint most of my kids. Uh, what's it called? So, let's all put these back on. 
So one gripe I do have for the one gripe I do have, it does come with the ability to put away some of the weaponry. One second. I'm back and what's it called? Where were we? Alright, we're doing the final intro review of the ill strike. Uh very good model kit. I would recommend. Ah, uh, god damn it. Alright, I was talking about how some things are kinda A, but this is an older model kit. I would have liked to have like places or slots to put the Schneider blades, but because usually the Schneider blades go to the side skirts, but they don't. I think this is a project I was gonna do later on where I was gonna add which I still probably will. But I had kind of like a slot where you uh, holster the Schneider blades. Another thing I need to do is probably just add a little tab, like a small palm plate tab on there, glue it, and the blades should be able to fit in there. I'll probably do that as a later date. I might do that for, might do that as a video for uh, how to do custom, custom stuff for your model kits for data necessities, like being able to put your beam savers on your model kits because sometimes they don't go attached onto them, which is a lot when it comes to. Bad now when it comes to a lot of the model kits. Uh, here I am rambling about stuff and problems I have, but most of that it's also stuff they can fix. There's one thing I've learned my time as a builder, especially when it comes to getting model kits and other model kits suits, is you learn how to fix situations at all time. Uh, both that out of the way, thank you for watching my Ale Strike review. I'm hoping uh, you guys liked it, enjoyed it. Uh, I will say I will try to make these a bit better, a bit more comprehensive, a bit more script and all that. As this is just me going out of the way trying to make my reviews and all that. So I'm doing this out of my heart, trying to do what I can with feelings and all that. Because I do have a passion for, these ho for, for this hobby. I do love Gundam out of my heart. It is one of my passions it's one of my series that i do love and i would like to share this with everybody else as well because there's one thing i do know is gun plus freedom and it's freedom to enjoy whatever you like so this is pyro signing out i'll see you guys in the next one